Oh, Whoops. Start. Oh, we got Randy. <laughs> Hello, this is the morning news. And this is me, Marcus Lawrence, with my lovely assistant, Tirza. Dude, I say Tirza. Yo, what up? Well, today we are talking about the elements of air. Right now. Do you know what land breezes? Yes, my dear. There, land breeze is when land, the area of land, has wind moving it from it to water. From when the warm air rises from water, the warm air sweeps back in to push out the cold air. So it's kind of like a big circle. Oh, yeah. but I just have to check the time. Do you know what it is? Yes, I do. It's, it's the flow of cool air from an ocean over an ocean or lake to land. Oh. You got that? I got that. Okay. Oh, wait, but what about the soda we were going to share? Oh, well. This is the end of the morning news. Good night, folks. Okay. This is the ocean, and this is the land, and this is our boat. Then a land breeze would be. Oh, seriously, it's right there. Okay, wait. Um, the flow of air towards the ocean, I think. Yeah. So if that was right here, then the land breeze would push the boat that way. Yeah. I don't know which one's the right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a very view. really disorganized. Wait, uh, yeah. You need some land, obviously. Okay, it's like the houses. <laughs> anyway. We can't use that if we go. Okay, wait. I feel so Can you see sad. It? Guys, we're screwing us and up. And then the sea breeze is the flow of air from the ocean to the land. So therefore, a sea breeze would push our boat from here all the way to here. But our, but our sea breeze isn't quite cooperating, so we're just gonna push the boat. So technically, the boat should go this way, but it's not because the currents are going the wrong way. And that's what a land breeze and sea breeze is. Now since we've been recording. Hello, audience. Let us talk about winds now. Oh my god, did you just see that? Uh oh, SpongeBob did it again. No, do I stop? Ah, now to explain the reason why SpongeBob flies. I'm just going to you. Hi, back Marcus. <laughs> well, there are things called pressure changes. Wind is air moving from a higher pressure change to a lower pressure change. Well, SpongeBob somehow got into the air on one of these pressure changes and then flew down to Earth. <laughs> Stop recording. Now it's recording. Okay, so where's your, we have to explain the greenhouse effect in this slide. So if this greenhouse represents the world and the glass is the ozone layer, Tirza is going to be light. So, a long time So, at first, when like everything was so clean and organic, light would go into the world. The world. Then she would stay in there and heat up the world. And after she was done, she would come out. But due to more cars, there's more ozone in the world, so it's harder for her to get back out. Because of that, there's more heat in the world, and a lot of the ice caps are melting. And that's the greenhouse effect. <laughs> All right, should I stop recording? The Coriolis effect is the fact that if Earth did not move, global winds that were traveling in any direction would be going straight down, like that. But because of the Coriolis effect, the Earth moves this way. So therefore, the winds move this way. And that is the Coriolis effect.